we are leaving um, Malo Lagoon Charlie's property today to go to Annam Land via Kakadu. So we are leaving now. We're supposed to leave a little bit early, but we were so tired yesterday, last night that we slept in, and we just finished packing up everything, and now we are ready to go. So we decided to go to Annam Land and we applied for the permit um, I think on the weekend and then it's got approved on Monday then Tuesday came Justin had um, exam for work so um, we didn't make any booking in Annam Land and then today we we left Darwin to go to Annam Land via Kat Kakadu and then when we go up to book the accommodation unfortunately um, it's fully booked um, so yeah um, we try to book accommodation at the I think the gold club in Annam Land um, they're fully booked they're only available Saturday and Sunday so we lock that in and then on Monday we have to go find somewhere else to stay overnight and then um, on Tuesday and Wednesday we're gonna stay at um, another place called um, the walkabout anyway this that's the that is the only two um, camping site that accept caravan and the rest uh, doesn't accept caravan and then when we drive to um, when we start our journey to Kakadu and then we see that we have to pay um, a pass to get to Kakadu uh, they I think they accept to p the payment for a week and uh, we're, we're not gonna be there for a week we'll only be there for like a night or two so we do not want to pay like 100 something dollar we decided to go all the way back to Catherine um, so that Justin can work tomorrow and then we will drive to travel to and then on Friday instead because he need internet and I think once we start on uh, Annam Land Road I don't think there's any reception so yeah, now we're back here outside of Catherine on a free camp. We will be staying here for two nights and then we will start our journey on Friday. Um, we just unhitched our car. We are now going to Catherine to fill up the petrol and we're probably going to go back to the hot spring to, um, to have uh, a swim and then go back here. Yeah, there were two ways that we can go to Annam Land. One is to go back to Catherine, and then I think there's a road um, somewhere off Catherine to get into Annam Land, Annam Land Road, and then or we can go to uh, via Kakadu. Kakadu is just like maybe 100 kilometer lesser. Um, and then there is a crossing, like a Ivanhoe crossing, which is I'm looking forward to. But then, yeah. Um, Guess I won't be going that way then. We're back here at Catherine Spring and at no more usual, the hot spring is full of people <laughs> that we don't feel like going in anymore. But since that we're here, why not? camping spot um, today this one is just um, overnight We're gonna go back to Catherine so that Justin can work there's no internet here and then uh, we're gonna find somewhere else to free camp this evening
Today we're going to stay at this free camping spot. There's so many people here already. Um, I'm not sure where this is, but it's outside of Catherine. And then we will be leaving to Annam Land tomorrow. I'm a bit excited, but also worry about the car van. Not sure how this car van is going to handle the corrugation, but we have service our car, service the car van so uh, I don't think it will be that bad Where are we going today? To the forest No, to Annam Land Annam Land <laughs> <laughs> Okay Everything good There's a lot of crossing Finally reached the gravel dirt road. Uh, it's going to be like this until we reach uh, Ni Ilamboy, which is the town that we will be staying. Uh, we're gonna um, stay overnight somewhere. Um, uh, but yes, uh, Justin is Justin and Eden is currently putting down the um, tire pressure. Um, hopefully the road is not so bad so far um, it was okay but yeah I think it's better that we let out the tire pressure to make it less bumpy and hopefully our car van can handle it um, so yeah let's our journey to the Annam land on the dirt road begin I think we only driven on this dirt road, I don't know, for maybe um, less, maybe 5 to less 10 kilometer. but our car van is already outside, it's already full of red dirt. And there is a car van drove in front of us, so um, when we behind them, we're taking all the dirt from them as well. before when we stopped to check the car van we found that there's a lot of screw on the table loose uh, fell off Justin uh, put it back and now maybe after like about 20 minutes until we reach our uh, camping site and this is what happened fell off? yes the table completely fell off like what the heck how did that happen? Yay! Eat inside, eat inside. Yep. Yep. No, I'm the pasta, I'm the way. We are continue our last leg 
to Annam land today. It's gonna be over 500 kilometer of driving. So yesterday the corrugation was so bad. Our dining table blow blew no fell off, and now we'll see what damage is going to happen today. past 12 p.m. right now I think we have been driven for maybe three hours so we're gonna stop here this rest area for lunch and then we'll continue on I quickly make the fried rice and now we're gonna finish our last uh, I don't know about 250 kilometer on a dirt road to Annam land we'll see how we go so far uh, the only top bar the bar that um, to block the fridge fell off and our the stuff that we put our shampoo and stuff fell off in the bathroom so that's expected so nothing new a uh, lot of dust coming in we have tried to cover them all but for some reason he still got in so now to the roadside to peel up some petrol from the jerry can because from here to uh, Nalamboy there's no petrol station that we can see there's one like back like 50 km back but then we have to take a detour 24 km in to do the petrol and then 24 km out is it's not a wise idea so we decided not to take it and just keep going and then just use the petrol from our jerry can instead
the damage is still the same. Justin didn't ask the new age people to fix fix this because at that time he couldn't show them, but it's happening again. And more damage, but it's not so bad.